Welcome here to the desert of Arizona. We're actually not too far outside of the city um, of Phoenix, but we are out here doing a little bit of off-roading technically. Um, this is not gonna be anything too crazy technical, but I will look for opportunities for us to do something a little bit more exciting. Like right over here, this looks like some fun. Yeah, so we're out here, there's two cyber trucks. We're having some fun doing a little bit of off-roading and we're gonna do some uh, rock crawling here actually. We are uh, just outside of Phoenix having some fun. Yeah, just gonna climb over these rocks a little bit, have some fun. I could brought the drone out here. So we're gonna get some cool footage, just having fun. That's what these trucks were made for. But for right now, I want to be right on top of that hill right there. That looks like the king's spot. And this is indeed the king, so that's where he belongs. Oh yeah. Let's see, which way do we want to navigate up this rock? I'm thinking right over here might be the best spot. Let's take a look. I don't know where Greg went. He left me again. Go figure. Um, actually, what I do want to do on this one, I'm going to raise the suspension. This is actually a pretty, uh, a pretty real rock climbing angle. Um, but what I'm going to do, let me raise the ex to extract for this part. And I'm going to show you something really cool. This was on a recent software update. Trail assist. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. So let's see what happens here. <laughs> Off-road mode on rough or technical and steep terrain. So let's check this out. Um, man, it looks so cool. I wish you could see Greg's truck getting him uh getting him off-road for the first time I'm gonna teach him some technical stuff about off-roading we are sitting at a height of 15.8 so we're not fully um at the height but i do want to show what uh trail assist will do i'm gonna trail assist up this rock right here so what I'm going to do in trail assist, the truck's going to do everything. I'm not going to touch the accelerator at all, yeah. uh, supposedly. I haven't used it yet, so we're going to find out. So you basically just set autopilot, essentially. Um, and it's kind of like figuring out what it needs to do. This is wild. This is really wild. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear the, the tires like reaching for grip, but yeah, man, this is so cool. All you got to do is steer. And uh, if I turn my camera on, I could actually see. There we go. We've got a pretty steep angle here. Um, but man, it is doing its thing. Trying to counter the balance of uh, some of these slippy rocks. It's where the traction's just not the best. And gently crawling in. Oh my gosh, this is so bad. I'm not even gonna lie. Sorry, not, this is really cool, I mean. Wow, that was so cool. And this is all on uh, factory tires, nothing special. Air is set normal, so I'm sitting at 53 PSI. Turn uh, a trail assist off, and then we'll go out and check out Greg. Let me turn around so the live stream folks can see Greg come up this hill here. Yeah. Seemed like you had a lot easier time than. Yeah. How's that, huh? I did the dip and did it manual. I didn't do trellises. I wanted oh, to get a comparison yeah. of it. Yeah. 
Dude, that's awesome. Yeah, it's his so good. his slip. Yeah. There's more slippage with his. I mean, he might have gone up slightly in a different way, but that was smooth. Yeah, I let I let it do everything on its own except for steer. But right. yeah, just it's cool because you can feel the truck like trying to figure out. All right, where do I need to put the where do I need to put the power? Which wheel is slipping? Yeah. And so as it slips, it kind of sets itself, and then finds the next obstacle, which is pretty cool. That was really dope. Yeah, it's man. Just, it was cool the comparison too of like kind of manual input with yeah. driving it yourself versus the truck just doing it on its own. Um, but yeah, that's your first weird. rock, huh? Yeah, that's my first rock. That's cool. I've we, only ever done like wooded trails and Flagstaff. I've never been desert like this at all. That was cool, man. That was all cool. on factory tires. Full air pressure. I'm at 53, I think, with the heat. Uh, same, I think. Same with you. <laughs> How much fun is that? Look at that. Look at that. Oh, it's so beautiful. Isn't it fun? <laughs> Little sketchy, but you just gotta ride it and go, you know? Yep. I'm uh, pretty happy with that. I can't believe I did that. <laughs> Landed it right here. That's so awesome. So unfortunately, the road is washed out up ahead. There are crews out here working on it. So we're not going to be able to proceed further, but there are a couple of switchbacks we're going to go back to and find some more rock crawling on the way back the other direction. All right, so that's where we parked, right over there. Um, and you can see the road. What an epic road this would have been to continue on. Check this out. So not only does it go down into the valley, um, you know, behind the screen there somewhere, that is a big bug. Holy cow. I have no idea what that is. Oh, what the hell? All right, it's gone, it's gone. All right, anyways, and then if you look off into the distance, I mean, you can see where this thing goes up that mountain. What an awesome trail. Yeah, it's unfortunate we can't get past this spot because uh wow what a view down there that must have been I've never, yeah, I've never it's uh it's pretty spectacular we'll have to come back when the trail's actually open yeah that's unfortunate yeah because look at it looks amazing that does look really cool. but then it doesn't stop there especially carving down the canyon bed it smells like ammonia it smells like ammonia i wonder why it's a very pungent smell then we've got uh I think we've crowned this the uh, Discount Canyon. Discount Grand. Discount Grand Canyon right there. This is Store Brand. Store Brand. Yeah, great value. It's not the Grand Canyon, it's the Dollar Canyon. The Dollar Canyon. All right, so we've got several names in the works. They got a mile deep, we got 150 feet. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Well, let's do the whole switch back yeah. and uh, find some more stuff to climb.
All right, let's have some fun right over here for a moment. Get my cameras up. Nice and rocky. No big deal for this thing, of course. I think what we're gonna do is try to get a little bit crooked and go back that way. So let's go through all these rocks first. Nice and gentle, nice and easy. I'm just in standard Baja mode in the smooth setting. Just trying to have some fun, taking it easy. Some epic views out here, man. Big time. Up in here at an angle. Let's uh, actually let's go to our off-road menu here, so we can see our angles and everything, huh? Very nice, nice and smooth. This thing shouldn't be able to do rock crawling like this like it should not be this good at it and it's insane and if it's a little bit more steep and the clearance is an issue you can raise it another seven inches from what i'm at right now which is pretty freaking wild this truck is just insane this thing was i don't know like trucks like this are awesome because they can do so much there's greg doing his thing but he is coming in Pretty fast, which is cool. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, we're on trail assist, yes? We're on trail assist right now. Okay. So I'm on one mile per hour, holding hands free, which is stupid. Don't do that. But just proving the point, but it just takes you. Yeah, it just, it figures out everything that's going on all on its own. I've got my camera up, eh? then I can just watch the screen and kind of steer it around anything. Yeah. And what's awesome about this, I don't know how they did it. Like Wes and the engineers at Tesla are just, some of the stuff that they pull off is incredible, but this is amazing because there's a lot, <laughs> there you go. There's a lot of people that this is their first time doing anything off-road. So things like trail assist, you don't have to know much about the dynamics of what's happening to be able to come out here and enjoy it. And that's what's important. Whether uh, people like it or not, having new people out here is important to continue to let this thing still be a sport for years to come. We need more people out here doing this, so pretty incredible. It's just so amazing. I've never seen a, a, a truck, a Jeep, anything that does its own off-roading, which is pretty cool. Take a picture. It's pretty cool. Let's see, let it do. I have What do you think, man? That was really sick. How's it your just, how's your first off-roading experience going? Really good. So, like, zero slipping on this one because we did that first one back here and we had some slippage. Both of us. I threw div lockers on and still, but we didn't air down at all. We're in totally stock. Stock tire, stock wheel, nothing nothing special. This is my first time off-road, really. I've done, like I said, some trails through, like, the woods and mud and just slipping around and having fun in the Tacoma. But nothing that ever required div lockers or any sort of four-wheel drive. Nothing crazy like this. And this is still pretty mild. But we've had some cool little, uh, some cool climbs. That's, yeah. been, that's been dope. Good Yeah, times, it's kind of embarrassing, but Ben's been hiding his face, just so you know. <laughs> He's doing uh, espionage for Rivian. Espionage. <laughs> <laughs> what do those construction guys have to say? Hey, hey. So they loved it. Yeah. The one guy had a Rivian, but they largely, I think it was positive. Yeah, Yeah, they, agreed. Like, they were just curious. Curious, yeah, the younger that's kid was right. Into it, the older guy was kind of oh, no. into it. And it's my typical line with people like, if I gave you a Model Y, and a charger at your house, 
you would not give it back. Yep. And, and he's like, I pay PF. I was like, it's not the ownership experience. Like uh, if you had it for a month, yep. and you saw how much you save on gas. Yep. No, he knew like no maintenance, but. The picture I got with RJ. Oh, look at that. How did you meet RJ? Oh, no. wow. Just that is, that. man, RJ, like he didn't have makeup on that day. No, like, he his didn't. tattoos were all out and his everything. tattoo was out, That's yeah. so cool. His teeth look great. Did you actually meet him though? Steve? Yeah. yeah, I went That's to. so awesome. Oh, yeah, I went to <laughs> And then I'd cut it left when you can.